Hello, it's me, obviously. I mean, honestly, who else would it be? But hi, how you doing? Today, I wanted to go through my beauty collection. I've been wearing this shirt, I'm pretty sure, in the past three videos, but that's because today I am on a marathon of videos. So hi, how you doing? I do really love this shirt, H&M. I am in rare, rare form today. So this is the third video that I'm filming. I taped two videos today in reference to Tati Westbrook. I hope you guys know who Tati Westbrook is. Um, if you frequent my channel, you will know because I talk about her all the time. But she came out with Tati Beauty. She's the founder, CEO, owner, whatever the heck you want to call her, of Tati Beauty. So I did a couple videos using her new Blendiful sponges, which I actually have right here. One of them, the big one. The little one is so cute. Where did it go? I don't know, but we don't have time to find it. And that's the goal of today's video is I want to declutter so that I can stop being a hot mess express here on my channel. Because a lot of the times, as you guys know, um, yeah, when... When I'm sitting here as I'm doing my makeup I lose things along the way that's because there's so much crap in front of me so I have this Kiehl's bag I'm going to be donating any makeup that is used to people in my family just because I feel like it's kind of gross to give like lipsticks and and stuff that you put on your face to people that you don't know I feel like family we have like the same DNA like I don't shave my family I hope they don't shave me I don't really have like a rhyme or reason here I kind of just want to sit here and throw things as I see them in here. This is just gonna be fun. We're just hanging out, going through makeup. And as always, I will tell you guys like the pros and cons of each and everything. Okay, so while I don't really have a rhyme or reason here, I'm gonna try and go in somewhat of like a chronological order just because that's how my makeup is kind of organized. And I say organized very loosely. Right away, I can tell you that this Bare Minerals Bare Pro, this is a sample that I received. Do not like this at all. If you watched my foundation wear test video of this, you will have known this was like cake face on a whole other level for me. Super drying for my dry skin. Also do not like this foundation. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. This was just super cakey, sat in my pores, is too creamy, moved on me. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this to someone else in my family. I'm not like the biggest Tarte fan. But that's a lie though, because I have some things that I really love from Tarte. Okay, I also don't like this on my skin. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Coverage Foundation. Didn't like that on me. I did not, did I do, I don't, did I do a wear test on that? If I did, I'll put it up here, but I'm not so sure. Makeup Forever Eye and Lip Primer. I don't use a lip primer, and honestly, like, I like concealer. This isn't one that's pigmented where it's going to cancel out any darkness or any veins that are on the lid. That's why I use concealer. So I'm going to... Get rid of that. And I'm also going to donate my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer because the same kind of thing. It doesn't cancel out darkness. So I've been using a concealer. So I'm going to get rid of that. The rest of my primers I do like, although I just got rid of all foundations in my primer bin. And then my lip liners. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I use every single one of my lip liners because I love them all very dearly. So I'm not, do I'm not donating. I'm not giving away any of my lip liners because I love them all. NARS Laguna, I'm not like the biggest fan of this bronzer. However, it's mad expensive and I'm not I'm gonna just use it. However, I am gonna get rid of this Morphe debutante bronzer. This is just like too grippy, too streaky on me. And it's just not like a bronzer that I love. It's not one that I reach for. You guys know I freaking love my BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. It's my favorite bronzer ever. The color is just really great for me. And it's not matte, but it's not shiny. It gives a nice like sheen to the skin. It really makes your skin look alive, not powdery. So I am going to give away this Morphe, keeping this one. I'm going to keep this one. Oh my god. Luminous Silk Compact Powder. Why is this in my bronzer section? This is why I can never find this. I love this powder. No Cosmetics makes really, really nice finely milled powders. Love them. So I've been trying to be like a more organized betch and I have this like to go little case where I've been putting the products that I really want to focus on this month or in the upcoming weeks. But I am going to start doing a beauty roundup every month. So the products that I've been talking a lot and using a lot in that month, I'm going to do a roundup at the end of the month. What I'm saying is I have more makeup than what I'm talking about right now, but I'm not going to go through this because I know that I'm going to use these because these are the products that I'm testing out in this case. Yes, I have a lot of makeup. Powders, I'm really happy with all my powders, so I'm gonna keep them. Um, just shout outs to happy powders that I have. This is the Aqua Assurance Compact Powder, Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is so beautiful all over the skin. It literally like blurs your face, like a Snapchat filter, which we all love. 
And then the Hourglass Veil, the most hydrating powder that I have. Rimmel, great drugstore powder. Ofra, great brightening powder, banana powder. So I'm keeping all of those. Contouring, I have the LA Pro Concealer. I use this as contour because it's clearly too dark for my skin. I'm pasty pale and that is really dark. And then my favorite contouring product is the Ardell Glam Touring. You guys know, I love this. So I'm keeping these two. I'm not getting rid of these. This is becoming like a talk through all of the freaking products that I have and that's really not gonna work for me because this will be a three hour video. So I'm gonna try and get it together. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really like love love this highlighter. Not so much formula wise. I don't really love this color for me. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. It's just a little bit too like silvery pink on me. Speaking of Wet n Wild highlighters, my favorite ones are the Mega Glow that come in like these little singles pouches. So I'm gonna keep this. But if you're in the market for a Wet n Wild highlighter, this one is my favorite. This is Precious Petals. The other one that I like is called Blossom Glow. And that's in here. I'm not gonna go through that today. Or will I? I probably won't have enough time, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this Seraphine Botanicals. This is a natural radiance booster. I really, really like this. I can't say that I use this for highlighter though, cause it kind of gives like a faint, like glisten to the skin. And I like something that's a little bit more brighter than this. I like this for when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup during the day. And I just want like a touch of like dew on the upper highest points of the cheeks, you know, or I will use this as a booster, which is literally in the name of it. So I'll put a highlighter on and then I'll take some of this on my finger and I'll pat it. Actually, let's do it right now. I'll pat it on the highest points of my cheeks just for like a little extra, extra something, something. But the highlighter that I have on today is very blinding and it is the Space Case highlighters, which are in my little like to use makeup so you're not going to see them but you guys have seen them on my channel a couple times already so i think that's it oh i'm gonna get rid of this this is the tarte tipsy cheek stain i just like really never use this this is a blush but that is like a highlighter so i don't really think i'm ever gonna use this it's really pretty though like look at that glow but that's not a blush you know you know what i'm saying it's like a flush it's not a blush it's a flush, but isn't a blush supposed to be flush? I don't know, rare form today. I think I'm gonna keep all my blushes. Collab, I like this Morphe one. I like NARS, obviously NARS makes my favorite blushes. Gigi Gorgeous, love this, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna keep all of my blushes. And Mary Luminizer, I will keep you. This is a highlighter, sorry, I'm not trying to confuse you. No Cosmetics, blush, love this as well. Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Strobe Cream. This is really pretty. It gives like a galactic, like almost like I'm from outer space highlight. Super pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but we don't have enough time to worry about the camera focusing because we gotta get it going. I've been using a lot of liners lately. If you're interested in like what liners I like, just watch my last few videos, you will know. So I'm not gonna really touch upon the ones that I like. I'm just gonna go through the donation pile here. Ico London, I've talked so much crap about this liner. I'm gonna give this to someone in my family. I'm also gonna give this Elon Musk one because I recently uploaded a video using this and that was the last and only time I will ever use this liner. Watch that video, you'll know why. Similar thing with this. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Liquid Coal Liner. Honestly, I've just gotten to the point in my life where I accept that I don't like any liner that has a really stiff liner tip like that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And this is like so old, I just need to throw this out. MAC Definitely Black. MAC Definitely Black, I like that. Pro Longwear Eyeliner. It's just like really seen better days. I'm not even gonna put this on me, but it's seen better days. So I'm gonna toss this one. This is like the worst coal liner I've ever used. That's really harsh, but I really don't like this. This is the Trustique Mini Eye Pencil Mini Crayon. First of all, it feels flimsy as heck. It feels so cheap. It feels like it's gonna break. And it's like a struggle to get any pigment to show up. You have to like really dig this into your skin. And I don't wanna to have to be digging this into my eye skin because your eye skin's really delicate and I don't want wrinkles. So that one's going. And then this is not liner, but this is with my liners. This is the Aurora for all lip lovers. This is like a really weird lip liner stain, but it, it it's 
it's just, it looks really bad on me. So donating. A lot of these glosses that I'm getting rid of, I'm throwing them out because they're no longer good. I've had them for such a long time, but I'm going to tell you that I love them while throwing them in the trash. You know, it's, life's hard sometimes, you know? I've had these NYX glosses forever. If you are a babe on a budget, you will love these. These are a few of my favorite colors. These are just their lip glosses that come in these little cute tubes that have the little bows on top of them. But this is Sugar Pie. Pretty, like, very frosty glisten. Perfect for the inner section of your lips. But again, this is old, so I need to throw it out. And then this one is a little bit more pigmented. This is in the shade Nude Peach. My favorite one is beige, but that one was at work and I threw it out because I was like, wow, that I've had this forever. Again, Nude Peach, really pretty, kind of like a Barbie color, but these are great for the inner portion of your lips to really make them look pouty and juicy and delicious. I never wear purple gloss. Why do I have two of these? I feel like my aunt gave me one of these. But honestly, guys, I don't really like Max Lip Glass glosses. I just, I don't really like them. And I don't think that these are so old, but I will never wear either one of these colors. Like, they're just not colors for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the donate to the family bin. They're not old. I just, they like, don't use them. I did a video on this. I don't know what's going on with this, but this one has separated into a bajillion different pieces. These are the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen Lipsticks. So I'm going to throw this one out, but these are not old. I just have similar colors to these and I did a swatch video on this. I will link it up here and put it down below in the description box as well. And all in all, at the end of the video, I said that these are beautiful colors. If you are a babe on a budget again and you need a variety of like shades, pretty nudes, a lighter nude, a, a pinkier nude, a red. If you need shades like this, I recommended them. But again, they're not like the best quality, the best liquid lipstick formula. So I'm going to send these to a home where I know they'll be more appreciated than they are here. Again, great if you're on a budget. I just, I have so many liquid lipsticks that these really like don't make it to the front of the line. And I hope that makes sense to you. So I'm going to donate this to someone who I know will wear them way more than me. Emily, these are coming to you. I was so excited for this. It didn't really like get me off like I thought it should get me off. Yes, I talk about makeup like I date it. I'm not kidding. This is the Butter London. I just, I don't know. It has like a weird brownish golden tone to it. I just, I don't love it. And there's like flecks of pink in there. It's just, it's not me. That's really what it comes down to. So I'm going to donate this as well. I really love this color, but Mike said it makes me look like I'm wearing cabbage on my lips. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to wear it when he's not around. It's so hard to wear makeup when Bay tells you he doesn't like it. I mean, do you feel me? And I know like I don't, I, I'm not sitting here saying that I wear makeup for him. I wear makeup for myself because it makes me feel good. But I'm not going to wear a lipstick that I know he doesn't like when we're going out to dinner. Like I want him to find me attractive. I'm going to go through this guy because there's a lot of liquid lipsticks in here that I don't wear. These Smashbox ones, they're so expensive and I really wanted to like them. These came in a variety pack. I did a lip swatch video on them. They're really pretty, but I just don't gravitate towards metallics. Just like, when am I gonna wear that? Like, it's so copper toned. I'm just, I'm never gonna wear this. This is in Rust Fund, Bold Digger. Yeah, like, I would love these as a shadow. I don't really love these as a lipstick. So I'm gonna give these to my sister. I don't think she's gonna like these either, but hey. These El Maquillage ones, I really love the formula. I don't like the applicator. It's like a cushiony formula, but the applicator just like sucks. I'll hold on to this for a little while. I bought these and was really into these, but I don't really love these anymore. I gotta be honest, these are a biatch and a half to take off. And I love that they smell like chocolate. And I love their doe foot applicator, but they're just like so hard to take off. I think I'm going to keep the brown one. Dose of cocoa. This makes me look like I'm dead. It's just like too like muted of a skin tone color. I don't like this. So that's going to get donated. And then do I like this shade? I haven't worn this shade. But I think that's going to wash me out as well. And this is in the shade Candyman, right? I don't like this one either. Yeah, I'm going to donate this one as well. So I'm just going to keep the brown one. I really loved this when I bought this, but I've never worn this. This is in the shade Requiem. 
and it's like a really pretty lilac shade, but I'm never gonna wear it. So I will see you later. And I really need to give this a shot. This is in the shade Lolita. This is like her number one seller, I think, in these liquid lipsticks, but I just never wear it. That's a really pretty color though. I'll have to wear this. I'll leave this out. I'll put this in my little kit of things that I keep saying I'm gonna wear. Mike told me he doesn't like this shade, and this is one of my favorite reds. Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Flame of the Game. Like, offensively rude, but I'm keeping it, and I will wear it when he's not around. What else can I get rid of? Oh, okay, I think I need to just, like, throw this out. This is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation in Cosmic. I've just had this forever. This is really, this is a great line if you have dry skin. However, I've had this for, like, a lot of years now. So I gotta throw this out. This is the worst brow product I've ever used. This is from Wander Beauty and this is Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. This is like giving yourself a skin abrasion and nothing happening. Like I have to dig this for any color to come out. This is for someone who does not need their brows filled in, who just wants to go with the motion of filling their brows in for no color payoff. So I'm not even donating this. I'm trashing this because I can't have people going around saying that I gave them this. Sorry, Wander Beauty. I feel like we did a good job. I got rid of a good amount of makeup here. Thanks so much for joining me. I know this is kind of like a blase video, but it was something I needed to do. I needed to get some of this makeup off my chest. I'm planning on using some more products, focusing a little bit more in 2020 on the things that I love and really narrowing down my collection and just getting rid of all of the excess noise in all facets and aspects of my life. So I feel good with what I have. I'm excited to share some of my makeup that I love and also get rid of some makeup that I hate. That's not to say that the people that I give it to won't love it because we all have individual tastes. We all like different things. We all dislike different things. I had a great time because I always have a great time. Again, if you're not subscribed, do that. Click the bell button next to subscribe. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. If you like declutter videos, let me know. What do you like about them? Could I have done this better? Could I have done this differently? Let me know if I do a declutter video in the future, what it is you like to get out of them, the knowledge that you like to get, what you like to see, so on and so forth, because I feel like I was just down in it and just trying to make some space in my collection. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.